Box and whisker plots are quite easy to plot. We just need to find the five number summary and then we plot them. But can you analyze the data based on a box and whisker plot? Let's take a look at a question. The following box and whisker plot was drawn based on a set of test marks from a class. A. What is the range of this data set? B. What is the interquartile range? And C. How is this data skewed? Let's start with the range. The range is the difference between the minimum value and the maximum value. Our maximum is 16 and our minimum is 9, which means that our range is 7 units. The interquartile range is the range between Q1 and Q3. Our Q3 value is 15 and our Q1 value is 11. 15 minus 11 is 4. And how is our data skewed? Look over here. This section takes up more space, which means that it is skewed to the left. Why? Because that's the left side. You can also say that it's negatively skewed. Either answer would be correct. What's important to note this time is that everything that exists within this box represents 50% of the class's marks. So, if there was a class of 30 learners, 15 of them got between 15 and 11 marks. So that's what the interquartile range is. Remember, you need to know how the data is skewed. Is it skewed to the left or is it skewed to the right?